Hey everybody, it is Drew here from Lone Fox, and wow, do I have a very, very exciting and overdue collab. I have been asked for so long, one of the probably most commented comments on my videos, if I can collab with two very special individuals. So today, we are collabing with the Sorry Girls. Hey there, we want to introduce ourselves. My name is Kelsey. I'm Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls, and we have been making home decor and DIY videos here on YouTube for over 10 years now. And we are so excited to finally be doing this collab. It's super long overdue, so let's get started. Today we're doing a very, very fun upcycle challenge. Now, Kelsey and Becky live in Canada. I live in Los Angeles, so it's not really feasible, especially with COVID and such, for us to collab in person. So what we're going to be doing is a really, really fun interactive kind of virtual collab where we're shipping each other a box of random, junky-ish DIY supplies. It could be really anything, old projects, new items, thrifted pieces, mystery materials, whatever you want to send, we're going to be shipping a box of supplies to each other and we're basically going to need to create a couple of DIY projects. So I already went ahead and sent them my box and if you guys did not know, the video over on their channel is where they take my box of supplies and create their very own projects, which I will link at the top of the description box. But in today's video, you are going to see what they sent me and what I created with their projects. So all we have to do is wait for that box and then at the end of the video as well, I'm going to be FaceTiming them and we're going to be sharing our projects with each other to see each other's reactions. It's just going to be a whole bunch of fun. So definitely stay tuned. Let's wait for my box to get here, open it up and see what they sent me. Okay, welcome to our very yellow workshop storage space. Oh, if I can't find something in here for Drew, then it doesn't exist. We definitely have a ton of materials, um, as well as just like pieces that could potentially be upcycled. I'm gonna pull a couple of options and then I'm going to call Becky and see what she thinks. Next up, we need to call Becky, get some input. Okay, are you ready to see what I have? Yeah, I am. What'd you find? I bet lots of crazy stuff in the office, old treasures. Yeah, so many things, honestly. Okay, I found like a lot of small things, but I don't know if they're too small. First up, placemats. I don't even know why we have these. I bought those at the thrift store because I love the color and like wood and cane and stuff like that was really in style. I'm like, oh, we'll use them for something. Yeah, some twisty candles. Okay. I have this mirror that I did mm. the antiquing test on. That's cool, cause he could do like, I mean, I don't wanna give you any hints, but like a frame or something for it. What else is in my box? A half completed canvas. <laughs> Rocks. <laughs> wallpaper. Ooh, the wallpaper is a really good one. Okay, so this is our mystery item. I feel good about that, mystery DIY supply. Also, there's this box. Maybe that's not the, that's a good idea. I painted it for a DIY and then I just hated the color that I painted it. I feel good about this. I do too. I think there's like good amounts of potential, but also like difficulty. Drew, coming soon to you. It's your doorstep. <laughs> All right, good luck, Drew. I just got my package from the Sorry Girls in the mail. Looky here, two Lone Fox from the Sorry Girls. This is so exciting, you guys. I'm very, very excited. Also, if the lighting's a little bit strange, it's because the sun is setting currently. Let's go ahead and grab our handy dandy box cutter and open up this package. Okay, okay, so I see like almost, oh, it's, it, she's jammed inside. She's jammed inside. It's like a storage bin, but it's like literally the same size as the box. I'm not sure what to do. I'm in, you guys. I am in. Here's what I was talking about. Okay, but inside we have this little green box here, which automatically like definitely is something I could do something with, I feel like. It's just a simple box. This, which looks... Hmm. <sighs> Lovely. I'm not sure what that is, but it's like almost like a wallpaper, like a embossed wallpaper. It's not, it's really not ugly. At first I looked at it and I was kind of like, what is that? What can I even do with this? Oh, we have this, 
which I've used things like this before. These are little placemats. So can you guys see how these kind of work? They're this orange color, which is not the most aesthetically pleasing tone, if you will. I bought those at the thrift store because I love the color. Three of those. I have no idea what I'm going to do. We have some other stuff in here too. Okay. It actually looks like there's just one more item. Oh, this. Um, this mercury glass mirror. I think that they actually did this on their channel a while back. Like, I feel like I remember seeing this project. It's illuminating me nicely though. I'm like already trying to brainstorm like what I'm supposed to be doing with these projects. I literally, I don't know you guys. And then there's this bin. All around it looks like I got this bin here, this mirror here, these three placemats, this kind of like wallpaper edging. And yeah, so these are honestly a little bit challenging. I'm not too sure what I'm going to be able to do with them, but I'm gonna start brainstorming. I'm actually gonna film these projects in a couple of days to give myself a little bit of time to kind of think of an idea and a concept. But for now, these are what I have to work with and I'll see you guys in a couple of days when we start working on the projects. Hi everybody, we are back and we are ready to DIY. It has probably been about three days, I think, since I saw you guys last time when I unboxed the package from Kelsey and Becky. And I am a little bit nervous to work on these projects, not gonna lie. Now I have a camera angle up here as well, which you could probably see. Hi everybody. The first one I wanna actually start by working on is the project using this box here. So as you guys can see, we have a teal box. Originally it was a wood, kind of crate from Ikea. And also we have the mercury glass mirror. Now, I think what I'm gonna do to the mirror is actually distress it even more. And the thing that I noticed about this box is if you can see, the mirror is actually the same exact height as the box. So I almost wanna glue this on at the front of the box and create some form of really cool like storage box or like jewelry container. Okay, I'm kind of scared. I don't really know where to start. I think I'm gonna start by trying to distress our mercury glass even more. So I've seen people use a spray bottle with water and some spray paint to kind of create a mercury glass effect on their item. So I'm gonna try to do a similar thing. I don't exactly know how this is going to work, so we're gonna have to like trial and error it out. We're just gonna spritz our glass here. Kind of gonna make some chunky spritzes, some inorganic ones. Just kind of spray it all over the place. Cause basically where that water is starting to puddle up on the surface is kind of where the spray paint's not gonna hit. So then I'm gonna grab Rust-Oleum Bright Coat Metallic Finish here. <laughs> this is gonna start by kind of spritzing. Maybe heavier in some spots, not as heavy in some spots. I'm just gonna go right in with the paper towel and start absorbing some of the water. Hopefully this doesn't peel up any of that spray paint. Kinda wanna get some of those water droplets off of there. Honestly, you guys, this looks very cool. I'm very, very excited about this. The kind of vibe I'm going for for this piece is something you would see at Anthropology for like $398 that you would never purchase, but you would really kind of like think about all the time, you know? So that's what we're going for. I think I'm gonna go and try to add a little bit of black or like a darker bronze color. I don't know which ones I have. I'll be right back, you guys, with some other spray paint options. That, so I'm gonna go back in with some water and add some droplets on there. Just kind of add like some darkness to it. <laughs> I feel like I'm like shooting it. Hello, Miss Copper. Okay, Miss Copper's broken. So we are gonna go back to brass. Just add a little bit more. You guys, this looks actually like really nice. I'm obsessed with how this looks. It looks like an actual piece of like vintage mercury glass that you would see at like an antique shop or something. But I do want to go ahead and paint the interior of this box so it is not this turquoise color because I think I'm then going to go ahead and wrap it in this material and then paint over the top of the material, which I'm not too sure how that's going to end up looking. I'm going to use this color here. It is called, I think it's a uh, just warm white by Folk Art. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a coat. I don't exactly need to do the outside because I'm going to be covering it, but I am going to go ahead and just paint like close to the edge. That way in case a little bit of the front is kind of shown in some sections, it's not too noticeable. So let's go ahead and paint this to start. back and we have a painted box here. Now the next step in this process is going to be applying the mystery material. Now this is not the prettiest of materials. It looks like it's like an embossed wallpaper edging or something like that. I'm going to take my mystery material and wrap it around the entire outside of the box. Now keep in mind the mirror is going to go in this front section here. We are going to go in and just apply a 
good amount of hot glue to this section to start. paper is applied. Now it is not perfectly applied, which is not a big reason because it's going to blend in with the box for sure once the paint is on there. Now I want to go ahead and start painting the outside of this box so that it matches the inside. I'm using that same warm white color. And the way that I'm going to do this is actually with a little sponge. I feel like this would just be better than a bristled brush because I think this is going to leave a lot of brush marks and I think a sponge might just look a little nicer. However, I've never painted really with a sponge before. Oh. Oh, okay, this is actually this it, it looks exactly how I want it to look like you could still see some of that texture through there right around here But you still you get nice coverage as well So my idea is that our little mirror that we created is going to be placed nice and centered on the front of our box here. It's kind of going to be the face of our box and give all of the detail and interest there. And I'm probably just going to put this right about here on our little mirror there. And I'm going to be using E6000 to apply this down just because it works really well with glass. This is a quick cold version. Generous amount onto each side there. And about here. And all around, I think this looks really, really cute. Um, it's definitely altered a bit and it's just like a unique funky storage box. So let's go ahead and work on the second project using those little mats or place mats that they sent along. We are back with project number two and I am going to be using these right here for this project. So these look to me like place mats. Um, I'm assuming that's what they are. I think I might have seen these at Ikea before. I don't know if these are Ikea, but they might be. Now I have a lamp that I thrifted a while back and I actually have a lamp shade that I got from Target for a different lamp. It was from Natalie's room makeover I had bought it I ended up not returning the lampshade so I have an extra lampshade and I kind of figured what if I went ahead and accented a lampshade with this really kind of unique almost wooden dowel-esque sewn together material like I love how flimsy and how foldable this is first thing I want to do though is figure out how to take off the little end pieces and then we can go ahead and work from there so First thing I want to do for these is to actually paint them. I'm not a huge fan of this bright orange color. So I'm going to go in with some black spray paint here. This is just my flat Rust-Oleum black spray paint and I'm going to be spray painting these. Now I'm going to be doing it in a box on top of this table, which I would normally always take it outside, but it is raining today. Show. Okay, so we have all of our placemats spray painted black. Now this is a lampshade I'm talking about. I've kind of gotten a little bit dirty with my black spray paint fingerprints on it, but no worries, we're gonna be covering it anyways. How I wanna go ahead and apply this on is actually just making sure that it's nice and flush at the bottom and I'm gonna wrap it around like this. How good does that look as a lampshade? I think that is so cool. What I'm thinking is to run a strip of hot glue across this strand here and this strand here. One there as well. Then we're going to kind of quickly wrap it around our lampshade. And I'm just doing this standing up that way or having like it stand up this way just because it'll nicely form. And I can press it into position all the way around like that. We don't have full coverage yet, so we will definitely need to be using all three of them. Not particularly, but we can just press those into place there. 
Alrighty, so as you can see on the back side, we actually have a little bit of an issue here. Um, it is triangled off because it is wider at the bottom and narrower at the top, which I didn't really realize. I kind of thought it was one same um, like width all the way throughout. It doesn't look too bad. Um, you can definitely notice it. I wish I didn't have to do that, but I think I'm just gonna have to go ahead and do that. And then I'll just use this side, you know, as the front of it if I ever go ahead and style it. Okay, so the back side is not the cutest with our little triangle section, but the front, honestly, I love the front of this lampshade. It is so cute. I can so see myself using this on a lamp for sure. Alrighty, so both my projects are now complete. I do have a couple more days until my FaceTime call with Becky and Kelsey so we can share with you guys each other's projects. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna catch you back here once we have our FaceTime call. Hello, you guys. Hi. I am a, a little bit nervous to share you guys my projects just because the supplies were a little challenging. When I opened your guys' box, I literally was like, oh, what am I gonna <laughs> do with these? But do not worry. I came up with a couple of projects and I'm okay. excited to share them with you guys so you can see how I repurposed your items. Those placemats, I remember buying them in the thrift store forever ago thinking, I love the color, we're gonna use them for something awesome and then we just never did. So I'm excited to see what you did. Well, um, uh, <laughs> I did change the color. I changed the color, so there is that. That's okay, that's um, okay. So then we had the mirror and then we had the wallpaper, which I'm assuming was the mystery material to work with. Yes. So I ended up taking your guys' placemats and I had this lamp that I got at the thrift store and I turned the placemats into this um, lampshade. Yes, yes, it's so beautiful. So Oh yeah, that looks gorgeous. Aesthetic a little bit. So I'm not mad at all that you changed the color. I think it looks so good. Yeah, they were a little bit bright to start. So I was like, <laughs> I just don't think it's gonna match. Like I think this looks really cute. And I feel like this is like a lamp that you would see like on one of those like niche home decor sites and it'd be like $840 and you're like, what? So then we had the um, box and the wallpaper and the mirror left, which I actually ended up using all in the same project. What? Um, I literally don't know yeah, how, so. So the reason that I did was because the mirror was the exact same height as the box. So I actually ended up just making this like mercury glass storage oh. container. What? <laughs> I actually, I redid the entire mirror and I did like a faux mercury glass technique on it with like brass and a little bit more black. How? Um, so I, I actually ended up using a spray bottle with water and I sprayed it over the top of the mirror so that the water kind of like coagulated and like grouped together. And then I sprayed over all of it with spray paint and removed the water. Oh, you did it on the front side. On the front side, yes. So this is just on, literally on the front. I literally can't handle how smart that is. <laughs> So good, because the reason I gave that to you is because it was just sitting in the office because it was a test piece for me and it wasn't working on the back because the material just like wasn't disintegrating. I with remember bleach. watching yeah. your video. Yeah. I remember watching your video about the mirror. So I figured that when I saw that, I was like, oh, this is probably one of the like ones that didn't end up working out or something. Yeah. So it kind of looks like a little bit like an anthropology, like storage box situation, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, just, so I just so went cute. in with a sponge and I just sponge painted the um, wallpaper like with a cream yeah. color just so it was like a little bit more neutral. It um, looks and like, like a tin, it all like the it way looks around. like a tin box now. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really yeah, it really does. It looks like a metal box. Good work. Holy <laughs> shit. Thank you. And I'm just so happy Thank that you. all these things that were just taking up space in our office now have like a second life and look so good. I ended up putting this in my office area, like in the, I have a storage bookshelf and I put that in there. It looks so pretty, like in the actual oh. final clips, you can see it styled in there and I'm gonna keep it there. Over on Kelsey and Becky's channel, I sent them a box of supplies as well. And you guys, their projects, um, we actually did their reveal first, are insane. So you have to definitely go check out their projects as well. They're really, really great. Well, thank you so much, Drew. This was so fun. All guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. And also head over to Kelsey and Becky's. To check out their video linked in the top of the description box below. But I will catch you guys all in my next one. Bye. Bye, guys.